guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe are the best kitchen foodie essentials. So many of you ask me what spices I use, what herbs I use and lots of different things that I always have in my cupboards. So I thought I would do a little sit down video and share with you what I believe are the essentials to always have your cupboards stocked with. The reason I make sure I have these essentials is because if it comes to the end of the week and I've run out of my food that I've meal planned for, I know I can always make some meals out of something that I've got hanging around in my cupboards. And I know I can always make them really tasty because I've got the right spices and the right herbs to like accompany them as well. So what I thought I would do is start off with my spices. I think I use my spices the most and I use four different spices and that is it. What I do is I buy a big bag of spices like this. Now this is a 300 gram bag of garam masala. This is from Tesco's, it's the East End collection and it is the cheapest way to buy your spices. What I initially do is I buy a little pot like this from Tesco's, I think these are 80p each. And then once I buy the big bag like this, I then decant it into my pot when it's running low. This way is the cheapest way to buy your spices and then you just know that you've always got this big bag waiting for you to fill up your little pot when you need to. So the four spices that I swear by having are garam masala, cumin, this is the cumin powder, this isn't the little seeds. Um, I have got some Madras curry powder. I got a small one of these because I didn't have the large one when I actually ordered it last time. This is a mild one because I have got two kids. They don't like anything too spicy. And I have also got a turmeric powder bag as well. So these are the four different spices that if you have in your cupboard, you can make so many different meals with. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, then you will know that I do love a curry. My whole family loves a curry and I make all of my curry pastes out of these four spices. I will just mix them together. I put like one teaspoon of turmeric and then two teaspoons of everything else into a pot with some water, mix it together and it makes such a delicious curry paste. You also wanna add some salt and pepper as well and that is so versatile. I make chicken kormas, I make lentil curries, I make spinach and chickpea curries. So there are so many different things you can do with just these four spices. To go along with my spices, I also always have some paprika in my cupboards. Paprika I find is so versatile too. I always put this on my tray bakes. If I have a chicken and chorizo tray bake with some um, potatoes, I will kind of shake this over the top and it gives it a really nice flavor. Also, if you're roasting a chicken, to put this over the skin, it just makes the chicken taste so delicious. I also put it on my risottos and so many other dishes too. So yeah, this is definitely something I would recommend having in your kitchen at all times. Right, next up I'm going to move on to the herbs that I love. I do have a little herb garden outside, but I also like to keep some herbs in this. This is a, um, it's a little like, tray that I put the end of my hob and I put three different herb pots in here. So when I'm cooking, I can just reach them whenever I need them. And also you can keep on growing your pots as long as you look after them like you would a normal plant. I'm not very good at that. So what I like to do sometimes is plant these into my little herb garden outside when they look like they're dying and then they just come back to life really, really well. So these are always at the end of my hob, like I said, so it just makes cooking and reaching for your herbs so much easier and you always know they are really, really fresh too. Right, so next up, you know when you're making a sauce and you want to make it taste a little bit richer, a little bit more special and a little bit different. So what I would highly recommend you having in your cupboards are uh, some soy sauce. I again buy a massive one so it lasts me forever and I'm only using one lot of packaging as well so I feel a bit better for the environment. I also make sure I always have some Liam Perrins in my cupboard and a secret ingredient, if you guys haven't done this before, is in your pasta sauces or in your spaghetti bolognese sauce, put some balsamic vinegar in there. This is a liquidy one and this is balsamic glaze, so it's a bit of a thicker sauce. So not only are these brilliant for salads, but they are also so nice in your sauces too because it adds a little bit of sweetness, especially this one, adds a little bit of sweetness to your sauce, which will make them a little bit different from anyone else's, a little bit unique and your kids will be like, oh mum, you make a good sauce. Okay, so next up I'm going to show you my olive oil. I think it's really essential to invest in quite a good olive oil. I think you can really tell the difference between different olive oils. If you buy a cheaper one, it'll just be called olive oil, but if you buy a more expensive one, it'll be called extra virgin olive oil. That's always the one that you want to get. I actually bought this from a Greek shop down in Brighton, and for this whole, um, 
tin, which was which is actually five liters, it was only 31 pounds, which I think is really, really good. So what I do with this is I decant it into my little oil spout pourer thing. And um, I have probably had this for about six months now and there is still at least half in there. So it just goes such a long way. I wouldn't say that olive oil is the best thing to always cook with. I do cook it if I'm not gonna heat my oil up really, really high. But if I do want to heat my oil up really high to sear something, I will use some like rapeseed oil or some vegetable oil instead because olive oil shouldn't be heated at too high a temperature because otherwise it ruins the oil. So this is definitely one that should go on salads or if I'm making risottos or pasta sauces, I always use this because obviously they won't be heated up to like a boiling temperature. So so yeah, definitely, definitely invest in a really good olive oil. Right, next up, I thought I'd show you the salt that I use. I just get these sea salt crystals. I do actually quite like the Himalayan salt, you know, when it's pink, but this is what I have at the moment. When you have a look at them, they look a little bit like snow, and for some reason, I don't know why, but it just makes your food taste so much nicer than using grindy salt. I, I honestly don't know why, maybe it's in my head. But yeah, I just feel like it really brings out the flavor in your food a lot more than normal salt. Obviously, everyone needs pepper as well. Pretty essential. Um, right, next up, lemons and limes. I've always got a bag of lemons and limes, so I'd always recommend having that. Obviously, onions and garlic. I always have that. I keep my onions in here because I think it's a really nice way to like let them air without being cooped up in a bag and watch they come in. So yeah, I always take them out of the bag and put them straight into here. Other essentials that I would say you definitely need in your cupboards are rice and pasta, but obviously you know what they look like, so that's why I didn't get them out. And then I have also got chopped tomatoes here and I have got some baked beans as well. If you have all of these ingredients in your cupboard, you will 100% be able to make some amazing meals out of this. You can make pasta sauces, you can make curries, you can make so many different things. I would also really recommend having some frozen spinach in your freezer and also some chickpeas because that makes such a delicious curry. And you've got your curry paste that you can make out of your four different spices. Oh my gosh. I forgot my vegetable stock cube. You have to always have vegetable stock cubes. No matter what meat you're cooking, vegetable stock cubes will go with it. I don't really buy any other stock cubes but vegetable stock cubes because they are so versatile. So yeah, these are a must have foodie essential in your kitchen. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time because I am going to be doing a kitchen accessories essentials video so that's like pots and pans what gadgets i highly recommend and i use on like a daily basis or weekly basis so keep an eye out for that that will be coming very very soon thanks again for watching and i will see you next time bye guys